We're learning more tonight about a man shot and killed by police in Wilkinsburg. Ramir Talley was killed on Sunday after police say he shot at them first. And tonight, his family is pushing for policy changes in the wake of police shootings. Channel 11's Aaron Martin is live now. And Aaron, the family wants more information about the shooting. Yeah, that's right, Lisa. Ramir Talley's family really pushing today to find out all the details in the moments that led up to that fatal shooting. Now, one thing that we've uncovered over the last several hours as well is that this is a tragedy that is all too familiar to this family, with Talley's father dying in a similar fashion. Attorney Todd Hollis has a lot of questions about what led to the shooting death of Ramir Talley early Sunday morning at the hands of a Wilkinsburg police officer. Young black men in Wilkinsburg know what's going to happen, you know, when you shoot at a police officer. Um, so to the extent that that happened, uh, we need to know why. Investigators say Talley began running from police when they responded to a man threatening another person with a gun on Penn Avenue. Moments later, police say Talley turned around and fired at an officer who returned fire and killed Talley. Channel 11 has learned it's not the first time the Talley family has dealt with the death at the hands of police. Ramir's father died under very similar circumstances. Um, he was shot 20 times by a police officer. And, you know, now you have the son who died under very similar circumstances. Back in 2005, Tally's father, Vincent Knapper, led police on a chase through the East End and Penn Hills before crashing his car and firing at officers. Last year, the family also lost Tally's 18-month-old daughter, Charlotte. Fentanyl was found in the child's system and on her sippy cup. Her mother, Jehenia Pratt, pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter and is now serving five to ten years in prison. Now, as for Ramir Talley's case, Allegheny County police are investigating this officer-involved shooting. Attorney Todd Hollis says he'll be conducting his own investigation as well. However, several times during that news conference pointed out his respect for the Wilkinsburg Police Department. We're live tonight in Wilkinsburg. Aaron Martin, Channel 11 News.